All right, guys. So in the previous tutorial, we created the mint NFT function and also imported few libraries here. And in this tutorial, we will complete our mint NFT function so that we we can uh, mint our NFTs that are created with this constructor. All right. So let's uh, move forward and uh, um, let's use the counters that uh, we imported here. So counter is basically a simple incremental counter which is implemented in this counters.soul. You can click on it and read the smart contract. It's very small. Um, you can see that the counter is increasing every time it is executed. So we are going to use that um, using counters. Sorry for counters dot counter right and uh, after that we are going to um, type uh, some more code and give it name current token id all right so we have defined this uh, variable uh, with this type counters dot counter uh, and we have given this name current token id so all right so that we can um, track the record of what is the current token id that is minted all right um, so the initial value for this will be zero and it will be incremented every time it is called all right so let's move forward and uh, before doing anything in this mint nft function um, we should just increment this first uh, so current token id dot increment and after that um, we are going to um, define another variable in un 256 called new item id is equal to current token id dot current all right and after that we are going to use safe mint functionality which is in this erc721 so i will show you once we have uh, you know, we are done with this code uh, writing so just type msg dot sender and new item id all right and then just uh, one more thing uh, we should do is we should return the uint 256 and in here just type return new item id all right so what we have done now is we have taken this current token id and we have incremented it first and after that we assigned the current token id to this un256 and we then we have called the safe mint function all right so which is in this erc 721soul so if you go to this file you can see that on the line number 262 we have this safe mint which gives these two parameters address two and uh, token id all right um, and this one is optional parameter um, data so we are not going to go, um, provide that parameter here and you can see that in this function they are going to mint this uh, nft with the address and the token id that we have provided all right so after that it returns just the current item id so we will be able to know uh, which um, nft has been minted currently all right so it's this simple guys all right so we are done with the basic functionalities of the smart contract and uh, you can see that i have set it to auto compile so it has compiled and didn't show any warning or errors so i will just click on this icon last icon and then in the environment i will just switch it to the injected provider metamask all right um, and it should give a pop-up asking for you to um, connect with the site i have already connected it with the site 
so it didn't provide any pop-up you can see that it is connected already uh, and uh, uh, I have this account address here which is exactly same as this one all right so once we have done that um, you can just uh, see which contract you are going to deploy and just click on the deploy button and you will be redirected to this metamask transaction here and just confirm the transaction and let's wait for the transaction to proceed all right so our transaction has uh, been successfully executed and uh, now we have this uh, smart contract here deployed so you can just click on here and you can see that all of these functionalities are available so most of these functionalities are from these contracts all right erc721 counters and ownable uh, the one thing that is only available um, is mint nft all right that we have created this one and the another one is current token id so if you click on this current token id you will see that current value is zero but uh, let's mint the smart contract now so i will copy my own address and uh, sorry i don't need to copy any address uh, so if i click just on mint nft it will um, redirect you to the transaction and you can just confirm the transaction by clicking on this confirm button and let's wait for the transaction to confirm all right so the transaction has been confirmed and now you can see that if you click on the current token id the value is one all right you can also see the owner of the nft uh, by providing token id so our token id that we have minted uh, was one so i will just click on owner of and you can see that it has the same address as uh, listed here which is our metamask address all right so um you can just play with all of these functionalities guys it's very cool um, and uh, you will enjoy a lot of this um, playing with these functionalities um, just go through the erc721.soul um, and see what exactly is built all of the functionalities most of the functionalities are from the erc721.soul uh, file uh, and if you have any problems or any questions, please comment below and I will try to answer them um, as quickly as possible. Alright guys, so thanks very much for watching this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will finalize our NFT smart contract and then start building our decentralized application. Alright guys, so thanks very much for watching this tutorial. Let's meet in the next tutorial.